Well, I'd like to tell you all about my first job. I think I was paid around $4 an hour. And my job was renting boats and motors and selling worms, bait, at a fishing lake called Lake Cahaba for a gentleman named Colonel Wilson Matthew, a retired uh, colonel from the Army. And I learned a lot in my first job. The, one of the first things I learned is that uh, I got paid by the hour, and I could only work as many hours as, as the colonel told me I could work, which was about four to six hours a day, and that was only two days a week. That was on Saturdays and Sundays. So my job consisted of getting the boats, getting them out of a, a shed, bringing them to the shore, putting a battery in the boat, putting an electric motor on the boat, and getting it ready for the fishermen and then when they came uh, to sell them the bait, which was worm, a soft drink if they wanted one, and help them get on their way. And, uh, and usually they came at daybreak, and then uh, they were gone until around noon. When they came in either for lunch or they actually left for the day. But for three hours, I would be there pretty much by myself with literally nothing to do. There was nobody to buy worms and nobody to buy drinks because the fishermen were all out on the lake. So I had a lot of time to think, and one of the things I thought about was that I was very limited into how much money I could make with that job. First of all, there was only a limited number of hours that, they, that the lake was open, and secondly, there was only a limited dollar amount that the colonel was willing to pay me. Now, what was also interesting is that I had a lot of time to think. So I began to think about ways that I could increase my income. This was at a, a very early age for me because I certainly didn't want to spend the rest of my life selling fishing bait. So I began to think a, a lot about how Colonel Wilson could have gotten himself in a position to have a fishing lake that he owned all by himself. And I, I learned some other things. One was that when I wanted to go fishing, I went out and dug the worms myself. I won't say I was the best worm digger, but I knew where to dig the worms, so it didn't take me very long. And I began to think about the person who sold the bait in the little containers to Colonel Matthews, because that person was uh, obviously smarter than I was because he was making a profit on every container of those worms. Profits are better than wages. And let me explain. On an average day we might sell 20 containers of bait. So that gentleman who grew the worms, packed the worms, received a little bit of profit on 20 containers a day from our lake. But I don't think our lake was the only lake, nor do I think it was the only outlet for his worms. I, the reason I think that is the worms looked exactly the same. Every container looked the same, meaning he had a way to produce a lot of containers of worms that looked the same. So I began to think about how I could get myself in a position, not that I could sell worms, I just didn't think that was what I wanted to do with my life. How could I find something, some product that I could market, where in essence I could either grow it myself or I could buy it at wholesale and turn around and sell it at retail. Now, for all I know, the man that we bought the worms from, he might not have been the one that produced the worms. He might have just been a wholesaler. In other words, he bought the worms from the grower, already packaged, and all he did was distribute them and sell them to various outlets. And he made a profit, so he didn't even have to get his hands dirty. So I had a lot of time to think on that first job. These are the lessons I learned. Profits are better than wages. Why? Well, my job was limited both in the number of hours I could work and the amount I could make per hour. And I desperately needed something to increase my income. I certainly didn't want to be a worm salesman for the rest of my life. It was a great education for me.